Edgar, Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. we got U.S. equity futures trading to the upside. Dow futures up 40 points right now. Uh, the NASDAQ futures up 71. The ES mini's up 12 points. Russell is flat. You've got gold trading up $9. Silver's up 55 cents. That's a 2.5% move to the upside. Lightspeed crude trade out at 81.55, up 89 cents. Natural gas up six pennies. You've got the U.S. dollar index pulling back uh, a bit. It's trading out at about 103.13. Looks like the euro is trying to form a Gartley buy pattern today, and the pound also trying to extend its uh, rally. So as we begin the uh, morning, let's go take a look at our nine-panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left-hand side. What we know about Friday is that price held a key level of support. That was the bottom of its weekly profile, and that's up at the 43.77 level. New profile attempting to form. This suggests uh, that this is just a counter trend move. If that profile takes hold, we won't know until the end of the day. Tune back in tomorrow. But right now, you've got resistance up at the 44. 47 area out there. That spot volatility is still above its 50-day exponential moving average. As long as it remains above that, which is 1541, that can create real problems for rallies. If we take a look at the NQ, it closed below the bottom of its weekly profile. It is also trying to form a new daily profile above price. That is a bearish message. However, for the day, I'm expecting, or we should anticipate, a rally. Uh, where would be the nice buy point inside the NQ if we were to get back to that level? I'd say 14,803 to 14,789. I don't know if we get that low. The reason why we should expect and anticipate this pullback that we've just seen here over the last uh, you know hour is uh, nothing more than just a gift. Why is it a gift or a potential gift? Because market breadth for the 30 and the 60 minute time frame for the NASDAQ is extremely bullish out there. So the markets are in extreme oversold condition. Those ex over oversold condition levels come from that New York Stock Exchange Advanced Decline Oscillator panel number three here. Once it gets down below minus 250, which it did last week, that tells us we've got to work off these market conditions, this oversold condition. And that is likely what is going to continue today. So folks, stay tuned. You've got Tommy O'Brien coming up next. Have a magnificent Monday. Please join me at the Trader's Edge show tomorrow at 11 o'clock sharp. Have a magnificent day, folks. Take care. Be safe out there.